Dave, Bill, and Carmen here at the Joy FM. We're talking with KB this morning. Well, KB, you have a book out called Dangerous Jesus. Yes, indeed. And I want to talk about this just a little bit. When I see a book that's got endorsements from Esau McCauley and, uh-huh. Pris- and Priscilla Shire uh-huh. and Jackie Hill Perry writes the forward, uh-huh. that's got some, that captures my attention right there. <laughs> but this is, this is, I, I, I got the book knowing we were going to sit down and I got through as much of it as I could, about I 30, it. about 30%, about third oh, nice. of the way through the book. Nice. And I'm going to read every word of it. I love it. It is an uncomfortable book. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's a little uncomfortable for me to read, but it's really, really, really important. Mm. I really want to listen. I want to hear wow. what you have to say in this book. And I want to I want to just start with a quote from uh, page 18 and just let you let you take it from okay, there. For sure. You say, brothers and sisters, I contend that the boldest of all frauds yeah. is a Christianity born of human imagination parading around as the Christianity of Christ and the battle of the ages is separating the pure Christianity of Christ from the corrupt Christianity mm. of the land. Mm-hmm. Mercy, mm-hmm. Lord. Mm. Amen. Um, and even as you're reading that, it just I just feel so much purpose and and gravity in what it is that we are doing. We we are people that talk about the great name of our God, the name that every knee will bow. And every tongue will confess the name that is above every name. But that word name in the New Testament is connected to the reputation that the name is on. It, it, normally when you see name talk in scripture, it, it is, it's also connected to a persona, a, a character. Um, Christianity, by us using that, I don't think that we are we, we often can not appreciate enough whose name is in that phrase. We're talking about Christ Jesus here, right? And it's important for us to be serious about representing the name that we are walking around claiming as our own. Uh, we can't forget that in the early church, uh, no one came together. There was no marketing meeting and said, what are we going to call ourselves? Mm-hmm. And they said, you know, let's go with this. Mm-hmm. Uh, they had earned the name Christian mm-hmm. by merit of being like Jesus. And they could not ex- like not accept it because they were hearing it all the time. So it kind of rolled into something, but it was in designed to mock them in the beginning. Mm-hmm. And I think when I wrestle with that on the backdrop of the words of Frederick Douglass, the American hero, I'm actually, he's on my shirt right now. Mm-hmm. Um, Frederick Douglass escaped the antebellum South, made it to the to, to the North, uh, and became this powerful influence in American life and in abolition and also in faith. Uh, he watched Christianity sharpened, hollowed out and sharpened and used as a tool to subjugate mm-hmm. and hurt people. Mm-hmm. He watched it regularly. He talked about Thomas Old, his, his, uh, the, the master who had enslaved him, beating someone into an inch of their life, a slave and an enslaved person into an inch of their life, and then going into the, uh, the house and doing devotionals with mm-hmm. their family. Mm-hmm. He watched that. You want to talk about microaggressions. Mm-hmm. These are macro aggressions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then when he got to the, when he escaped from this, he did not believe that he needed to get rid of Jesus because of the ways in which he saw Jesus being abused, mm-hmm. which is where a lot of people are. If you read right. the studies on Gen Z, they're right. like, I've seen Jesus abused so much. If that's mm-hmm. what it means to be with Jesus, I don't want Jesus anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, but that's one of the reasons this conversation is so important. Amen. Absolutely. We've got a generation at stake right now. Absolutely. There's a generation at stake. And I yeah. wrote the book aiming at them. Mm. Um, he gets to the North and he says, we were experiencing the Lord Jesus Christ despite the abuses. Mm. Mm-hmm. The Jesus in some powerful way was going around the evil that was being perpetuated by churches in the South, mm-hmm. uh, in, in the North too, but particularly in the South. Charles Spurgeon, one of my favorite people in history, my son is named after him. He said that if it was not for the church of Jesus Christ in America holding it together, slavery would go to the hell in which it came from that Christians were fighting against this, right? It's ending, but it also were Christians. Praise God who saw that that didn't deserve to be called Christianity. And every time you say it, it's a fraudulent phrase because Jesus has nothing to do with this. Jesus is identified with those who are suffering. He's a suffering servant. He's not the oppressive master. Mm-hmm. 
He is the good shepherd that empowers those who are being taken advantage of, rescue those who are being taken advantage of. So Frederick Douglass says, here it is. There is a Christianity of Christ and there is a Christianity of this land. Mm. The Christianity of Christ is peaceful, peaceable. It's freeing. It's, it gives you hope. It gives you courage. Let's not forget that the civil rights movement was a Christian movement. Okay, mm-hmm. it, 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 the, the people that were fighting all the way to Reconstruction, all the way up to, cu- the, to current day, largely these efforts came out of people committed to Jesus with other partners as well. Jesus, in Frederick's mind, was being misrepresented that the Christianity of, of Christ is pure and good. The Christianity of this land is to be hated and rejected. And here's what I have stu- what I have found in my study and writing the book. The Christianity of Christ and the Christianity of the land is on all of us. It's on all of us. Mm -hmm. You're living here. It Mm -hmm. gets on you. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's important for us to realize to the degree that we are of this land. We are not of our savior. And we want to get a dual citizenship going where there's a citizenship of the kingdom, a citizenship in the kingdom of, uh, of being in the Christianity of Christ that supersedes everything else Mm -hmm. Uh, above, above all our other allegiances is this allegiance to Jesus Mm -hmm. and let him lead in God as he sees fit. And what I'm saying is what I do in this book and what we have to do in our ministries is to be very clear on who Jesus is, but also clear on who Jesus is not Mm -hmm. because who Jesus is not, Mm -hmm is a dangerous thing Mm. when the not Jesus stuff is spreading like wildfire. Mm. Mm. And that's what I'm trying to do.